Hello and good Thursday morning to everyone. We are on our last two days of holidays for the Eid al Adha vacation. And my room is a big mess because of this. I'm trying to replant. Some of these beautiful seedlings that I have grown over the past uh, weeks, probably a couple of weeks now, and I'm putting them in individual self watering cups and probably be giving away some of them to friends, especially those who would want to take up gardening and doing self watering container gardens here in Jeddah. I think I've sown some petunias there and some we call it in the Philippines alasinko because the flower blooms after 5 o'clock and before 5 o'clock in the morning it also withers. I also want to share with you update on my aquaponic system. Yes, that's a beautiful okra or bindi or lady finger as some knows it flowers a few days ago and now a fruit and I also want to show you some of the flowers from my cucumber I got a basil there and a ginger and this is a I suppose a pepper and a couple more cucumber plants that's my first aquaponic system I have one adult tilapia somewhere there oh the smell of basil ah, basil has a very very strong smell I love it now these are vines Sweet potato vines and kangkong. I didn't know kangkong flowers. I see some flowering buds there. Uh, that's a gigantic sweet potato together with the okra and a bitter melon or alpalaya. I'm growing a carrot over there. I think that's another pepper. This is the root system of the sweet potato. I don't know if you can see that. It has already taken over the bottom part of this laundry tub that I used. All the plants are in individual cups. So it's going to be easier for me to move them out. Move them out. It's a ginger over there and powering it. Uh, Three pangasius fish. That's my aquaponic system number two. My aquaponic system number three. I have a carrot, uh, big bitter melon. I replanted this corn. This is an okra and some baby carrots there. There used to be two ampalaya or bitter melon plants here, but I've taken out one to free the the tub with its massive root system those are my three outdoor aquaponic systems the ampalaya has so much dried leaves now but it's the sweet potato that's like massive and huge I'm growing some I don't know if these are spinach this is a self-watering container pot. This is a Swiss chard on a self-watering container pot. And some celery seedlings that I mistakenly thrown in there. A couple of Swiss chards also replanted into this self-watering container pot. All my plants in dirt and hydroton are in self-watering container pots made out of recycled water bottles. 
this is a beautiful these are beautiful peppers another pepper there some ornament, ornamental plants it's a uh, periwinkle this is a replanted tomato on a self-watering container pot made out of a milk bottle a one liter milk bottle Let's see I replanted this the other day, I hope it grows. A couple of ornamental plants there, the same alacinco in self watering pot, more ornamentals. These are tomatoes and a moringa. Or we call this in Tagalog manungay. It is not in a self watering container pot, it's the only plant I have, I think. It's in a regular regular container that drains out. I'll transfer it later on into a big drum. Self-watering also. Okay, so more ornamentals. I got uh, jasmine over there and some more sweet potatoes. And some more very mean pots. That's it. Oh, here I want to show you this. These are all seedlings from I tried to do deep water culture but I couldn't. These are pepper and a pow pow. Peppers and tomatoes. And also an or ornament plant. I'm gonna give away these things that's why it's in individual cups not self-watering to friends later on so that's my garden keeping me busy all the holiday days so if you're living in Saudi Arabia or in the Middle East yes you can do gardening you can do aquaponics definitely that's for sure hundred percent you can also do self-watering container pots like this and you don't have to waste water because I basically water these plants only once a week uh, just to make sure that there are still some water here on the reservoir like this okay that's a what that's water in the reservoir and then there's a piece of a uh, cloth over there over here sorry for that there's a piece of cloth hanging and it acts like a wick that brings out brings up the water to the bottom of the spot and the roots naturally to just search for where the moist is from so that's it all my all those plants have survived many months now in self-watering container pots okay then you can visit my blog site pinoyaquaponics.blogspot.com that's p i n o y a q u a p o n i c s.blogspot.com for some of the postings and some of the pictures and videos about doing aquaponics and self watering container garden here in Jada. Bye for now.